Hi, Dr. Kenneth Hughes, Los Angeles plastic surgeon here, uh, wearing my N95 mask, as we all should be wearing. Um, hopefully we can put this coronavirus behind us. I want to talk a little bit today about Instagram and uh, its usefulness as far as patient, helping patients make decisions, period. Uh, it's been my experience that Instagram is helpful for just showcasing your various photos and to allow patients to kind of get an idea of what's possible with certain procedures or techniques. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, before and afters are helpful, videos are helpful. I prefer to put most of the videos on YouTube because I can put very large videos on there and kind of uh, explicate a little bit more. Uh, but I think that Instagram certainly has its own has a purpose. Now on Instagram, uh, there's a direct message feature, and sometimes it just doesn't make sense to answer all those direct messages because um, yeah, it, it, you just don't have enough time with the emails and the skypes and seeing patients and performing surgery. So anyone who's interested in surgery, please just you know email through the one of my websites. Uh, HughesPlasticSurgery.com is a good one. Uh, you can look at the before and after pictures there. Uh, in addition, the, there are some limitations with Instagram. Uh, a lot of what we do as plastic surgeons involves, you know, body manipulation and addressing various areas of the body that maybe Instagram thinks is somehow uh, questionable. Now, I see a lot of Instagram posts that uh, I, I honestly don't know how they their filter doesn't. Uh, snatch them up, but for whatever reason, they managed to clear a lot of my photos. Now, let's say you're doing a buttock augmentation. It's pretty important to, uh, uh, you know, evaluate the contours of the buttock before and after, but yet Instagram requires a significant amount of that to be blocked out, and even if it's blocked out, its filter will sometimes challenge those as well. So it's very difficult to know how useful Instagram is in presenting some of these surgeries. The same thing goes with breast and breast scarring. You want to be able to see the scars and a lot of times those scars uh, you're having to block out because they border some other area. Same thing with, you know, inferior buttock lift. Same thing with almost anything that you do can be close to an area where Instagram will, will block that. Now that may be the competitors, my competitors doing that, that may be, you know, who knows, other types of saboteurs, but it's just not worth it for me to spend that much time on Instagram posting those photos. So if you want to see the photos and the you know videos, go to my website for the photos. I have some videos on my website as well, but I also have some videos on the Hughes Plastic Surgery YouTube channel. So go there as well.